We were hoping, just hoping he was just injured and when we walked around the garage then the whole house was just gone. A man killed when his house explodes. Right now at 6, we hear from a neighbor who felt the blast. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight here at 6. I'm Brian Sanders. And I'm Carol Larson. We're glad you're with us. In a breaking news update tonight, investigators believe that a gas leak may be what's to blame for the explosion that destroyed a Cherokee County home and killed the homeowner too. Two works for you reporter Corley Peel spent the day near Tahlequah and has a look now at the aftermath. Corley. Authorities say earlier this morning, the owner of this property here, Bernard Gozer, was inside his home before it exploded. I spoke with some of his neighbors today who say they couldn't believe something like this could happen. Early this morning, Danny and Laura Neldon were just beginning their day when they say they heard a loud boom coming from their neighbor's home. We saw the horses take off across the field and shook so the floor. shook the house, or lost power, uh, shook stuff off the shelves open the doors of the house. The Neldons say they immediately rushed over to check on their neighbor Bernard Gozer. After seeing what was left of his home, they knew it was bad. We were hoping, just hoping he was just injured and when we walked around the garage then the whole house was just gone. When first responders arrived on scene, they found Gozer's body inside. There was very minimal fire damage. Um, at this time, we don't believe that it was criminal in nature. Um, however, we're still going to con uh, complete the investigation. ATF investigators say the damage is consistent with a gas explosion. We're tracing uh, electric lines, gas lines, everything that any potential ignition source um, to help us identify what the cause and origin of the fire and explosion could have been. Debris resembling crosses hang from a tree where Gozer's home used to be. Appropriate considering the conversation Laura Neldon says she had with Gozer just last night. And he started talking to me about giving his life to the Lord and he was at peace and I don't know why that came up last night but he did. Investigators say Gozer was in the process of remodeling his home just before it exploded. His neighbors say he had only been living here for over a year. Live in Cherokee County, Corley Peel, she works for you.